Hey gang, it's as Seth. Excuse me. Trouble swallowing for some reason. Um, I started to mention in my other video at the end, I'm going to mention it first. Um, well, a couple things actually that I'm thinking about it. Thinking is good. Um, before I start on this video, I'm, uh, this week is going to be kind of chaotic um, because I did a favor for my ex and basically watched my girls for an extra four days, three or four, three and a half days, we'll say, chalk it up. Um, so I'm going to be having my kids going on like 11 days in a row, not today, but by the end of the week, and in short, um, it's a lot for me, so I got to kind of, my, my normal rotation is get them for a week, and then after they go back, like, come Saturday and Sunday with the girls, um, things pile up, because um, laundry and messes, and I normally start cleaning on Mon or I, actually Mondays I usually just relax, unwind, and Tuesday I start cleaning and doing laundry and all that, but based on having them an extra three and a half days, it's not happening, because this is my actual week with them. So, um, I'm going to be trying to do a lot more of that this week. I have to, otherwise, you know, laundry and the house is going to get cleaned. Second, I want to do anything short of begging, but if you guys, um, if any of you people um, have some money to spare, even a buck or two a month, um, I set up my Patreon. I'm going to set up a PayPal too, because I guess it's easier to do one, you know, if you come across five bucks, throw it my way, and that'd be sweet. Um, and then the last part, very shortly, um, I implore you guys and girls, um, assuming one or two of you are out there watching my videos, um, if you like my video, my content, please subscribe, but please, two important things are please share this with people, and please comment. I'd love to get your feedback, especially I think this one will be a little bit more interesting, um, get some thoughts going, um, and it's going to, well, let me make sure I'm all done on my other stuff, yeah, that's it, okay, abortion. Um, yeah, I'm going to pause it because I forgot the name of the person because I'm not that smart. Okay. <laughs> Caller Chia Milo. And well, the funny thing is, what was the reason that was, I couldn't remember the name. I, um, I was thinking of Caldera Volcanoes. Um, unrelated to, you know, Calder, Calder Chia Milo. But um, they asked me to do a video on um, abortion. So here's my video on abortion. Some of you probably know where I sit to a degree, but not, uh, not fully. Um, I used to be pro-choice up until probably about three or four months ago, I think, I started, and uh, I changed. And what changed um, is, in short, I took a minute and actually just thought about it. Generally speaking, I think, you know, choices are good. Having th the ability to make a choice in your life is good. Um, and then, when I actually thought about it, I was like, having choices in your life is good. And in doing that, you're totally and 100% unequivocally removing it from that baby. Not giving them a choice. Not giving them a chance. Um, and then I thought furthermore about what would have happened if um, at any stages of any of my ex's pregnancy at the time when we were together, she would have just been like, ah, no, I'm done. And thought about how that would have affected me. I'm not going to get into the... Um, th there's a big part of me that uh, a big um, beef for lack of better terms that I have with reproductive rights because if you have a penis you don't have any um, reproductive rights with your child you get a gun put to your head one way or another you're gonna accept that you're gonna let the, your wife girlfriend some lady you don't know abort your child instead of letting you take care of it or the other gun to your head is you're gonna take care of it um, and even if you have no access to the kid, the government's going to face, uh, force you to, and you're going to go to jail. <clears throat> the amicable way to handle it is to take care of your kid and hopefully be involved with that kid and the mother, or preempt that with not having a kid, whether it's through abstinence, which I believe is somewhat um, unrealistic today, but whether it's contraceptive, both by the male and female, those are viable options. More responsibilities, you know, all that stuff. Um... I am pro-life with a pretty big asterisk, okay? Um, that was an asterisk. One, two, that in the diagonals. I'm not making any kind of voodoo signs trying to witchcraft you all. Um, and I say that because um, 
for the most part, pro-life is you don't believe abortions should be legal. Now they can take a step back from that. Um, some pro-lifers um, have a more common sense approach, in my opinion, which is you know if it's a health risk, maybe if the baby is a is a if the mother I should say is a victim of rape, they having the option. Okay, um, but I'm going to take that one small step forward, and I'm going to say that um, may I don't know if I'm going to use it one month, but and I'll touch more on this as I go down. A big thing for me is, is a heart and a brain. So a lot of pro-lifers think that it is at the moment of conception. I don't, but I understand where they're coming from. I don't agree. I think, um, uh, to me, the difference between life um, is a brain and a heart. Um, and that's just me, okay? So I'll, I'll touch on that a little bit more. Um, but there's birth controls, adoption, moral, giving the kid up. There, there's, play, there's some places that will some groups at um individual couples that will live i know it's expensive or maybe don't have health insurance but there are places that will pay for you to have that baby and then take that baby and provide and raise that provide for and raise that baby um and you know some of the arguments you hear is it's a woman's body right well and i'm said i'm not going to touch on it but i am a little bit here well you know what it's also that man's baby in there like that's part of him um and more importantly um it's also life it's not but i'll touch on that more um and one other thing i try to explain to people is like if, if i took a um three-day-old puppy out and just killed it people would be appalled if i took a um a rabbit that just had you know babies and killed all the other ones people would be appalled they'd be more appalled at that at me killing a weak feeble animal incapable of taking care of itself um and they look at that as, as more deplorable than going and ending the life of a of a human being that is starting to develop um one is more taboo than the other um but that's like a, a three-month-old being, with, you know, um, they have brains, they have their heartbeats. You can hear and see the heartbeats. Um, and at those later stages, um, people say, um, you know, again, take taking a, a kitten and beating it against the wall is awful. But um, that baby... Is already reacting to stimuli. It will move and react to light. It will um, adjust to the way the mother is sitting, um, react to acoustic or you know um, audible stimuli and things like that. Um, and so then people will come over and use the oh it's a it's just a bundle of cells. And again, I use a you know the, the it's got a brain and it's got a heartbeat. And then the further you go, the more it develops. Um, I blow my nose that's a bundle of cells in that tissue um there's no heartbeat okay i cut my nails and um those nail clippings are a bundle of cells um those nails are not going to grow potentially in any way shape or form into a being that's gonna look you in the eyes one day and love somebody and care about somebody um there aren't families around the world who are looking for my dirty tissues or for my nail clippings okay um, but there are people w everywhere wanting kids and cherishing life like that. Um, if you're pro-choice, um, heads up, you're a bundle of cells. What's the difference between you and that three or four month old baby? Um, should I just be able to terminate you because it's convenient for me? Um... Do you think I should just be able to go and execute one of my kids because I just realized I, I don't want this anymore. I should have thought of this through. Oh my gosh, it's it's not what I wanted. My life wasn't ready for this. And yeah, she's two years old, but uh, should I just go and put her down? Like, no, that, that's, that's ridiculous. Um, one other example I like to use is if I go out hypothetically, I'm not even going to say this because maybe this will come back on me, but if some other person, okay, goes out there and decides... Um, Maybe I'll lay it out in a hypothetical. So maybe a guy and a woman are together. She gets pregnant. She breaks up with him and wants nothing to do with him. He goes and gets a gun and he shoots her in the stomach. The mother dies. 
child dies. That man will get charged with two counts of murder, right? But now let's rewind this situation back. One hour before, he went to the house. Maybe she stopped at the doctor's office. He went, kicked in the door, and she wasn't home. Instead of being there and getting shot in the stomach and having that fetus killed, a doctor goes in there with surgical tools, kills that baby. Is he, is he culpable in murder? Is she an accessory to murder? In both situations, that fetus dies, right? What is the difference between the doctor doing it for no, for um, a bad, you know, a, a reason that's not life and death, a reason that, um, or at a place in time where, again, you have life and sentience in that kid, um, what is the difference in that equation? Why does one, a woman have a, 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 a right to murder that fetus? I don't think she does. Um, so who's, you know, the question with that is, well, whose life has value? What point does a baby's life become valuable? At what event, what trigger makes it valuable? When a man does something to it, now it's a life, but when a woman does something to it, totally acceptable. Um, and that comes down to, like I say, um, you know, or, or here's one small little just, just nuanced question, you know, uh, uh, no one should tell a woman what she could do with her body. Well, what if that fetus is a woman? What if it's a female? You know, well, screw that, then I have more rights because I'm, a, you know, a, a different kind of, different shade of woman. Um, these are all things, like I say, they just, the, the, the um, individually maybe one of them may make more or lesser sense or hold let more or less weight but when you look at these all together i think i always say life is not about punchlines and tag tags and hashtags and headlines life is about context um you have one or two grains of sand they're just grains of sand when you have millions of them you're on the beach or in a desert um and um i don't think abortions should be illegal to perform bear with me okay I don't think abortion should be illegal to perform because we need doctors who need to be able to perform them I think it should be illegal to get an abortion outside of those certain criteria and some people say oh that doesn't make sense well um, it's illegal to, for me to go and perform brain surgery on one of my children right now right I can't go and do that if I do there's going to be some serious <laughs> legal repercussions for me and then the moral ones are I'm probably gonna kill my kid but I'm just talking straight legal okay but it's not illegal to perform brain surgery it's not illegal to be a brain surgeon um, so um, that's the argument I make with that like it's not that it, um, it should be illegal to do um, it should just be controlled and restricted and, that, and um, it shouldn't be illegal to get um, I get you know, I don't think that it should, um, that I don't agree that terminating the life of a thinking, responsive person with a heartbeat should be based on or accepted because it's convenient or inconvenient for you, or based on a series of bad decisions you made or and made with another person. Um, the rationale there is is lacking um that, that i mean and that's about it that about sums it up so again um i'm pro-life with an asterisk um if you are if there's a medical condition the baby may die the mother may die the baby and the mother might die i believe and this is me okay i know a lot of you and again i want to know what you think if there are certain medical conditions where the mother and the father or, i'm sorry the mother and the baby will be fine but the baby's going to have um, certain conditions that are going to, and I don't mean maybe born without a pinky, but I mean um, life debilitating diseases should be willing, should be, uh, it should, the doctors should be willing to do that. I think it should be legal. There should be, but there should be, you know, again, concrete circumstances that allow that. Um, let me know your thoughts. Um, if I missed anything or didn't answer a question, didn't touch on any point in length enough, please let me know. Um, I hope that you all have a wonderful day. I'm going to go start cleaning out in my backyard and doing some laundry. Go easy, gang.